Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I would like to show you how you can dual boot Cyanogen mode and Kali Nethunter on your Nexus device using multi -ROM. Before we begin, please make a backup of your files. Nothing wrong should happen, but just in case. The first thing you need to do is to copy these two ROMs to your Nexus device. All the links is gonna be in the description right below that like button. And now we are ready to install our first ROM, which is Kali NetHunter. All right, guys, I have my rooted Nexus 5 here, which is running the latest Android version. Next, we're gonna need to reboot the device into recovery mode. To do that, power off your device, then power it on again while holding your power button. Then switch to recovery mode using your volume keys. Now press install. Select your Kali Linux NetHunter ROM. And then swipe to confirm flash. And this should take about 30 minutes or so, so please be patient and make sure you have enough charge on your device and I'll be back when this is done. Alright, so it just finished and if you get no errors here, you get a successful message, you're good to go. Now you need to reboot your system. All right, so the second thing we need to do is to install multi-ROM. Then open it up, grant it root access. Now everything needs to be checked here except for the kernel. I repeat, do not install the kexec hard boot patch and then press install. Now click on reboot. All right, this is multi-room. Next you need to go to misc, reboot to recovery again. Now you need to go to advanced, you're gonna find a new tab here, multi-room, press on add room, Android based so we should be good, press next, zip file, scroll down and now select your cyanogen mode image, press to confirm and then swipe and this should take about 10 minutes just be patient and I'll get back to you once it's done okay guys so as you can see here I just finished installing and the next thing we need to do is to go back here back again and go to advanced multi roam and swap roams and make sure you select cyanogen mode here should be the only one and swap primary internal ROM with secondary here this option Not the first one then swipe to swap ROMs all right so that took about five minutes and reboot to the system and choose your internal ROM which should be cyanogen mode right now. And if everything goes well, you should see the cyanogen mode logo over there. Just click next, this is the initial setup. Now the next thing we need to do is to install Aptoid, which is like Google Play Store. So we can download multi room again. Let's 
last one. And you're gonna need to search for multi room. Now I haven't checked this EBK for any malware. Just do it at your own risk or get multi room from somewhere else. I'm just gonna do it anyway here. Granted root access. Just remember the choice. And now you can install everything here, including the K exec hard boot patch, which will basically allow us to dual boot between Cyanogen mode and Kali Nethunter. When you're ready, press install. Alright, when you prompt it, just reboot. Alright guys, now we're gonna do a final test to make sure that everything is working fine. Remember, the first option here, which is the internal, is Cyanogen mode. The second one is your Nethunter. So I'm gonna boot into that now. Okay, and I have here my Alpha AWS 036 NEH. I'm gonna connect it to my device. Now let's do an error dump. Change WLAN 1. And as you can see, monitor mode is working fine. Now I've tested the TB link as well, it is working fine. So far so good. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe and new videos are coming soon. Thank you.